this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Sets and Bees. Uh, today we are going to be making pot of gold um, bath bombs. Um, so I found this little pot at the store. I think it was at Michael's. And I thought they were super cute. So I'm going to put um, the bath bomb formula in there. Um, and add some sea salt some large grain sea salt so it looks um, kind of like it's gold in, uh, inside but the bottom is going to be uh, green. Uh, for the scent I'm going to be using uh, cucumber cantaloupe from Nurture's Garden. Um, it smells just like its name cucumber cantaloupe. It really smells like um, fresh cucumber uh, with the scent of cantaloupe. It's kind of fruity and subtle uh, but not in a sweet fruity way, but just like a regular fruit. Um, and I'm going to be adding uh, cucumber melon from Nurture Soap. Um, this one's um, very, very subtle, which is why I'm mixing this one just to um, bring up some of this scent. Um, they smell pretty good together. So, okay, let's get started.
So I just finished making the pot of gold uh, leprechaun or St. Patrick's Day pot of gold bath bomb. Um, I think I overestimated how much I needed so I still have a lot left over. So what I did is I just mixed the yellow and the green together um, and what I'm going to do, and it's still wet enough uh, where I can still manipulate the bath bomb. I have this cookie cutter. Um, that I'm going to be using as a mold. Now I've been trying to make shower steamers with this and I cannot get the stem um, to stay on the shamrock. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create the, the shamrock without the stem uh, or as much as the stem as I can but um, that way I don't waste uh, product and I'm going to add uh, jojoba beads uh, on top of it. So here we have the shamrock and the pot of gold bath bombs. Thanks for watching. See you next time.